What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Easy Money X. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, because you know it's your boy, you know? So, Bing, today we're back and we're doing Parallel Quest 109. This is another one of the uh, many requested or highly requested Parallel Quests. So, today we're going to be doing 109. I'll show you how to knock this one out, get a Z rank on it. Easy. And this one is not like the other ones. This one, you're not going to need the. Um, well, first off, I'm going to show you. This is the moves I'm using. And the main move here isn't Giant Storm like the previous one. The main move here is Emperor's Death Beam. And the higher Super Saiyan or higher, the higher the level up you have, the better. So, uh, the characters I'm using are, or the characters I recommend you use also are Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Evolution. And the other one is going to be Dark Frieza. Dark Golden Frieza, actually, I should say. Now, why are these characters the characters for the job? Because out of every character, every support character on the game, these two do the most damage. You know, when you get done fighting your guy, whoever you choose to fight first, and you lock onto the guy they're fighting, you should, you know, you shouldn't have to worry about that guy still having a crazy amount of health left. It should be, he should be a couple shots away from being dead. And with these two, they, uh, they ensure that, you know what I'm saying? So, these two characters are who you want. Now let's get to the strategy of PQ 109. Make sure you have meditation. I have a video on how to get meditation if you don't already have it. Um, by this point, I'm, you know, I think a lot of you guys already have it. So as soon as the game starts, use your meditation, power all the way up, get your ultimate energy, and then go to your ultimate form, whatever your highest ultimate form is. Mine is Super Saiyan God Evolution. Now once you do that, then it's time to cheese. Now it's time to pull out your special ability. In this case, it's going to be Emperor's Death Beam. Now, why Emperor's Death Beam? Because it has it's a crazy move for PQs. It's probably one of the top five moves in the game for farming or for knocking out PQs. Why is that? Because one, it has a crazy amount of damage. Just an absolute crazy amount of damage. And two, it has a high success rate. When you shoot it, you don't you don't worry about missing. You're not gonna miss this shot. Uh, you might miss a couple shots, but not the whole move. And actually, odds are, you're going to get the whole move off and hit every shot. It's, it's a crazy move. So, And you should have a, um, a good amount of health and numbers on your side to where after you hit the move, you should be able to just power back up, meditation, and then bing, Emperor's Death Beam. And it only take like two Emperor's Death Beams per player or per uh, NPC. Maybe three, you know, the, the further you get along in this mission. But it's a uh, it's a pretty good strategy. So now let's get on how do you Z rank this PQ. Now to Z rank this PQ is pretty simple. One, you just can't, one, don't die. So don't die. Two, make sure your support characters don't die. And I don't mean the support characters you chose. I mean the support characters your game gives you, you know. So as you can see on my screen, Golden Freezer died. I can still Z rank it because that's my support character. I chose him. Now, if the support character they gave me died, right now I don't have one. But earlier they gave me Trunks. If Trunks would have died, if I would have let him die, game over. So don't let him die. Um, and then the last one is you need to beat this fast enough to where you can trigger the final opponents coming in. The final opponents is going to be Rose, Goku, Black. You know, the Super Saiyan edition with the pink hair. He looks pretty badass. And then Nazama. So the characters you see on the screen right now are the final characters you need to beat. Um, they're not that tough. It's gonna You're going to have to spam Emperor's Death Beam a little bit more than in the beginning, you know. But it'll still get the job done. And then if you see your team's health going down, you do want to keep them alive just so you don't get double teamed. You know, just pop a, uh, what are they called? The little capsules. I call them pills. You know, just pop a pill. Pop a pill. Get your guys' health right. And then, bing, you're right back on it. You don't have to worry about a time limit either for this PQ. There is no time limit. No time limit at all. So just take your time. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to cheese this, if you want to do it, you know, the right way, well, then be my guest. But uh, it's it, it can be it can be challenging. Oh, golly. Right there, that move takes off a lot of, a lot of health. Uh, it could be challenging if you want to do it that way. So I prefer to just, I prefer to just cheese it, knock it out. Especially when you're just trying to get a move. Like I think you have to do this PQ to get a super black Kamehameha or something like that. So if you want to get that, 
just chase it because you want to get it done as fast as possible because you can beat it you can beat it your way have integrity for the game and all that but what if you don't what if you spent all that time you spent 15 minutes just to not get the move so it's it's in your best interest to do it this way beat the pq five minutes if you don't get it bing five minutes again bing five minutes again it's just a more efficient way to get that move it's a more efficient way to get these close as you can see z rank on the screen but until next time it's your boy easy money x don't forget to like subscribe comment i'm out